This is the LG 60LS579C. It is a 60 inch television. It's full LED, um, LED LCD TV. It supports all of the major resolutions 1920 by 1080, um, 720 by 480, and of course. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. Um, the TV has Bluetooth version three point with a frequency range of twenty four hundred to twenty four eighty three point five megahertz. Um, the data output is three megabits per second, and the range for it would be line of sight or about ten meters. Um, it's an awesome TV. Uh, the picture is really clear and really concise, and you really know what's going on. Uh, it comes with uh, a smart remote, um, LG calls it the wand, I think it's kind of stupid. It's really cool though, they made it so that it contours to fit in your hand, so it, it fits perfectly. Um, the TV has a number of ports on the back, but you can't really see them all because it's mounted on the wall. It has three USB ports up there, along with four HDMI ports, uh, there's coaxial cable and stuff on the bottom, you can't really see it, but we do have mount on the wall. Uh, among other things, there's the sensor for the remote, for the infrared sensor, uh, a power button, input, settings, the plus and the minus button, and the up and down arrows for navigation for channels and things like that through the menus. All these buttons are capacitive, they're not physical buttons. <sighs> the TV, it, I mean, it looks okay, it kind of has, I guess they were trying to go for this brushed aluminum look on the bottom, but I think it's just plastic. Uh, the TV does have a really, really nice picture. It is a smart TV. Wait for it to turn on. Um, the picture is awesome. It's uh, full 1080p. Uh, it, it's smart TV, again. So, the one complaint I do have with the TV that I'm just going to get out of the way it it needed a better processor it's it's not fast enough and there's this whole bug with the internet where the internet sometimes won't work and it really just has you scratching your head like well what did i do why isn't it working yada 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 and um once you turn the tv on though and i guess it warms up a little bit it, it's okay it's still extremely slow there is uh the wand, you move it around and it's like a clicker for your computer. You hit the button and uh, it transitions. I don't know what kind of processor on it, but I'll try to look it up and I can't find it. Of course now it's fine and everything. Down here is the frequent apps menus. Uh, it obviously supports being a smart TV, Netflix, Hulu Plus, YouTube, Vudu. You can download games and stuff from the LG Smart World, uh, apps and all that. Uh, I actually have Pandora on here and Darts. Darts is actually kind of fun once you get the hang of it. Um, you can obviously wirelessly stream your phone to it, uh, your computer, anything like that, or you can be seeing as if your computer is uh, Bluetooth. <clears throat> you can obviously put Roku and stuff in it, it has HDMI ports and everything. All in all, the picture quality is great. It's full 1080p. Um, we have Time Warner Cable, which is terrible, and that's another rant in itself. But um, though we do have all the channels and everything so uh, you can see right there it's 1080i for some reason on this channel but it's full 1080p support it looks great it does everything it's supposed to um, sometimes Netflix isn't very clear but that's more to do with the internet and I'm pretty sure it's more of the fact that we don't have great internet even though we bought Turbo Boost which is really stupid but that's Time Warner's fault, it's not really the TV's fault. I don't think the cellular antenna in this TV is that strong because sometimes it struggles to find. The tele, it struggles to find the router and that might be part of the reason with the whole network issue. But all in all, it's a great TV and I do recommend it. Uh, I'll grade it on a scale of one to five. I'll give it a 3.9 out of five. So it's kind of in the middle, but kind of towards that upper echelon. There are other TVs out there now that are probably way better than this, but 
If you're looking for a TV on a budget, the prices dropped. When this TV originally came out, it was over $1,000. Uh, the price has probably obviously dropped now, so it might be a little bit more manageable if you're looking to get into the smart TV game. So I would definitely pick it up.